Riot police flooded the streets near Tehran University, spoiling for a fight. Protesters gathered on one of the city's main avenues, chanting death to the dictator. And then, as police helicopters hovered overhead, the security forces waded in with tear gas, stun grenades, water cannons, and truncheons. The protesters retaliated with stones. One man described by phone what happened to him. Uh, they used uh, some machines that uh, throw the water in people, and then they attack us with uh, buttons. I myself, they make very, very heavy beats on my head. I was bleeding. It's estimated today's crowd was two to three thousand strong. But many young people who wanted to join in were turned back by the police before they got anywhere close. Eventually, the threat of more violence forced the protesters to retreat and scatter, but it was a remarkable show of defiance, given that Iran's supreme leader laid down the law yesterday at a special Friday prayer service. No more protests, he ordered. Election results come from the ballot box, not the street. It was a reference to the mass demonstrations that went on all last week. In attendance at prayers was the core of Iran's Islamic establishment. Front and center, President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, whose landslide election sparked the demonstrations. Opposition politicians, including the favorite reform candidate, Mir Hussein Mousavi, accused the government of massive fraud. In spite of today's violence and the warning from the Ayatollah, Mousavi isn't backing down. In a letter to the government today, he's calling for last week's vote to be annulled. The only solution, says Mousavi, is for the government to call a new election. And there was a fresh statement from Mr. Mousavi this evening through the semi-official FARS news agency. He said to his supporters he'd always be by their side and then went on to warn the Islamic State it might face dangerous consequences if it didn't allow these, what he called, legal rallies. Jeff? Elizabeth, we've also seen this statement tonight now from a general in Iran saying that up until now he feels the government has been lenient. But as of tomorrow, they're going to get serious with protesters. Have you seen any indication of how people will react to that? Every day brings fresh surprises. Uh, today, it, it was remarkable that although the riot police and the um, Basij were violent, they weren't using, as far as we know, live ammunition. So there's room for escalation here. There's no question. All right, Elizabeth Palmer in Tehran tonight. Elizabeth, thank you.